button on your notification bell you will still get those information you are looking for you are ipob esn propagandist nigerian army fires at a civil society organization now the 82 division of the nigerian army in enugu they have said that what the inter society yes inter society what they are doing amounts to you know carry propaganda for the ipob and esn of course the inter society has continued to reveal and expose the horrors the criminality extrajudicial killings false disappearances and all the atrocities the nigerian army has continued to commit and they have once they have committed in the south east nigeria they have not relented in that onerous task of letting the international community to know what has been happening in the south east that the army the nigerian authorities want to cover up sweep under the carpet and conceal it even throw it to the dustbin of history but they said no they will continue to expose and make things come to real yes and so the nigerian army of course you support you expect that they don't they won't be comfortable with such position and they are carrying they are also they are carrying the they are carrying out this uh, media propaganda onslaught against inter society and now hear them what they are saying i quote talking about nigerian army now i quote despite the severe failures these groups are still unrepentant and shamelessly continue a muslinging all in a futile effort to drag the image and reputation of the division in the mud while promoting evidentist lawless and at lord organizations in the said publication it claimed that s that's exercise golden down two has gone deaf and dumb however on the contrary x exercise golden dawn two and still waters two has achieved many successes since its commencement in terms of recovery of arms ammunition ied materials and fabrication workshop which was published by both mainstream and online mediums on thursday 10th november 2022 the exercise has also halted the activities of the proscribed group little wonder inter society has come up with all these fabricated lies with no sense of balance reportage it was also reported in a trending facebook and twitter post that the general officer commanding h2 division was posted from kaduna to enugu this is just a figment of the writer's imagination as the general officer commanding was posted from 81 division Lagos, and has at no time been in kaduna the army does not operate based on ethnicity and tribal sentiments it is a professional army that has sworn to uphold the integrity and sanctity of our dear nation however the writer or author of the trending internet publication failed to give evidence to prove delegations against the general officer commanding which makes it mere propaganda aimed at dumpling the damp dumpling the morale of troops on successes achieved so far and to further create panic in the southeast region 82 division nigerian army recently carried out medical outreach in the hometown of 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 namdekano in afaruku maya abia state guess the so-called society was not aware of it it's quite unfortunate that a civil society that is meant to protect the sanctity of the public could be used by the proscribed group for propaganda and misinforming the general public with unfounded and biased narratives it is also important to note that enugu state is one of the most peaceful states in the south so it is surprising that all these allegations are targeted at enugu which is a direct pointer to creating fear among the populace it is on this premise that the attitude division nigerian army wishes to dismiss this evil propaganda being peddled in the said publication and served to the unsuspecting members of the public by inter society it is obvious that in society is bent on furthering the activities and the aim of ipob or esn with the singular purpose of destabilizing our nation he said continuing the division for the avoidance of that he says 
that it remains a professional institution saddled with the responsibility to protect the territorial integrity of Nigeria. Furthermore, it will never be distracted by mischief makers who find pleasure in blackmailing the institution in order to satisfy the interests of fifth columnists in their unrelenting effort to destabilize the nation. The division will continue to count on the support of the Nigerian public as it continues to carry out its constitutional mandate to defend and restore sanity and peace in all troubled parts of the Southeast region. End of quote. Now, I've stopped quoting now. So, all these things is what they are saying. The army is what they are saying. You see, they said they will continue to uphold peace in the Southeast. You see? So, this statement was made by Lieutenant Colonel Jonah Ono Kahlo. He is the acting deputy director of two division, Army Public Relations. Yes. So they said they will continue to make to you know preserve the peace. And again, here they said that uh, Enugu State is the most peaceful state in the zone. And what is happening? You are causing confusion because you have known Enugu is peaceful, and so you have gone there to destabilize this the region, the zone, the state. For what is happening now? Is Enugu peaceful again? The army is causing confusion and commotion. They go and see what's happening. At uh, issues of local government. The military has been sent to go there. The locals, residents said they refused to go to the camp where these foreign headsmen are operating. Where they have camped. The army won't go there. And they said they are, they, they are trying to preserve peace. And again, look at what the army said. He said they are doing uh, free medical at uh, you know, Onyendu's uh, residence, Onyendu's uh, community, Afuruku, Ibeko. They are making reference to it as achievements, what they are doing. What they have achieved, that uh, intersite is now where that look at the, the, the what they have been doing. So we should be clapping or jumping up. You are dishing that first of all. And look, we have said this thing. When people will go there and you collect this past a mall upon a door, and you, they go, is this free medical? Yeah? That's not free medical. Yeah. That is not quality. They are dishing that past a mall. And uh, Panadol free Medicare. So that is, by the way, nobody's interested in that Panadol. And uh, even the Panadol, if you scrutinize it, it's expired one. If you scrutinize, total scrutiny of the Panadol or Prastamol will expose it to be expired. And so we're not in seriousness. Nobody's interested in that. We know that in society, it's not even interested in that uh, Panadol medical outreach. And uh, they say that the army is not based on ethnicity. I'll be going to ask. So the army is not based on ethnicity. And so what is happening in the army? If you don't base it on ethnicity, that what you are doing is to serve your dear nation. You see, said the army, I quote what they said. said, the army does not operate based on ethnicity and tribal sentiments. He said, it is a professional army that has won to uphold the integrity and sanity of a dear nation. So who is deceiving who? They are deceiving themselves because we know they are stuck in trade. Yes, they cannot operate without their ethnicity, ethnic jingoism. That's their root, that's their foundation, that's their base, that's the operational guidelines and principle. But in society, will continue to do their job. Yes, continue to do their job as civil society or civil liberty organization. Will not, they, not, they will not be cowed by this uh, propaganda of the army. We know they are doing a nice job for Nigerians, not just for the South, it's for Nigerians, because the army is committing genocide through the terrorists that they have recruited into the system and said they